Hello, hello, my beautiful Sagittarians. Intuitive Soul Coach here with your August career reading. So welcome, welcome if you are returning back to my channel and welcome if you are new. Today we will be tuning into the collective energy of my beautiful Sagittarians. And this is not a one-on-one -on -one reading, but a general reading for the collective. So please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And if you are interested in signing up for a free reading or even a personal reading, you can find both of those links in the description box below. So we're going to dive right in here to the Life Purpose Oracle deck here before we get into your Celtic Cross. So right away, we do have teaching and we have author. Just, uh, just to let you know, it doesn't mean that you have to be a teacher. Teaching can come in all different forms and so can author. So I will intuitively explain each one of these here and we'll get one more. Thank you, Spirit. All right, so let's dive in. Children, and then we have let go. So let's tune into this here. So we do have uh, teaching showing up here. You inspire young people to learn. And it's interesting because children did show up as well. Your life purpose involves helping, teaching, and healing children. So for some of you, this is what you do for a physical uh, career here. You could teach K through five. You could have your own daycare as well. But a lot of times when the teaching card shows up, it says that you are either in the role of teaching somebody else. Maybe this is through your career or at your work here or it is you being the student and somebody teaching you something at this point, this time. A lot of times I always get that quote, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. And I always feel like that's the energy that this card gives off. And I feel like you're ready for something here. You're ready to either transform your life, you're, you wanna go off on a new venture, uh, maybe it's you leveling up in a playing field, so to speak, maybe gaining a promotion, starting your own business, we do have author showing up and it says you have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed make the time to write it so again doesn't mean that you are writing a book and you're going to become a big famous author although you certainly could be Sagittarius that certainly could be but a lot of times the message I get from author is that you have a story to tell and uh, maybe you like to journal maybe you're a person that likes to doodle or you just write uh, or draw something with the hands is what I'm getting from the author as well I'm also getting a children's book and even though we have children here uh, it could be writing a children's book that's been on your mind or you like to you like to draw some sort of comical characters or some sort of um, characters from a children's book here so Again, it, it feels like you have a lot inside to express yourself, and this could be in the form of speaking as well. So a lot of you maybe are in a job where you have to speak outwardly to others on a daily basis. And for some of you, you are natural healers where you heal by telling people your story. So that's the energy I'm picking up from author. We also have children. So your life purpose involves children. So those of you that are not in the childhood field here, the child, the, um, it could be a doctor, you know, OBGYN, it could be daycare, it could be something physical. But for a lot of you, it means, <coughs> oh, excuse me, excuse me there, Sag. Uh, for a lot of you, it is you being in uh, the presence of children. And this could be adult children as well. Maybe you have a few children yourself, whether they are ages, you know, one all the way on up or newborn all the way on up here. I am getting somebody's grown adult children. Uh, it's something with uh, teaching here. It says your life purpose involves helping, teaching, and healing. So again, maybe your life purpose, uh, a piece of it is taking care of your adult children or teaching them how to take care of themselves is what I am hearing from this card specifically. We also have let go, walk away from the situation in order to resolve it. So again, for a lot of you, there's a decision that needs to be made here. You've been tossing something up in uh, in your energy for quite some time is what I am getting here. It's, it's almost a should I stay or should I leave energy here? Maybe you're at a job, a, a place of employment that you've been at for a while and maybe you're capped. Uh, maybe you can't make any more money where you're at and you're looking to change jobs here. Maybe you're looking to open your own business here. Let's take a look. 
Sagittarius, what, uh, Spirit, what is the heart of the matter for my beautiful Sagittarians? What's the heart of the matter? All right. We have hanged man energy here. Hanged man is the heart of the matter. Again, seeing something in a different perspective here. This is you even needing, there's been a delay in a situation here. And this is a time where you're reflecting. So the heart of the matter for the month of August is a deep inner reflection here and figuring it out. Do I wanna stay in this job that I'm captain that I've been in for a long time that may be stressful? Do I want to look, I feel I'm hearing somebody saying, well, I've been putting my applications out there. Maybe you've been applying for different jobs as well. And the heart of the matter is you are opening yourself up to a lot of different opportunities maybe that you never thought of before. And that is the heart of the matter showing up here. Uh, I feel like you're you're getting a little bit fed up. You're not wanting to hang around in the situation any longer. So let's clarify this energy for you. Let's take a look. <clears throat> Spirit, can you please clarify the hangs man? <clears throat> All right, yeah, 10 of wands, carrying too many burdens. You're getting fed up of taking on too many responsibilities. This is about freeing yourself up, possibly even needing to delegate tasks to other people. And maybe a lot of people delegate tasks to you is what I am getting here, Sag. So I feel like you're getting fed up with taking on so much and you're looking elsewhere. You're seeing if the grass is greener on the other side, so to speak. So that's what's going on for you, I feel, in the month of August. So let's take a look at the challenge. The challenge here, we have the two of fire. This is the two of wands. The challenge is for you to wait for some sort of results. The challenge is you planning for your future and moving forward. It's also the car of card of travel or relocation, but it's also the card of should I stay or should I go? Just as I was saying earlier, that stay or go energy, do you move forward in a new direction, something entirely new, maybe that you've, you've done something your whole life, should you just stay in it because that's what you've done? Or should you move on because your heart's just not with it anymore? Or maybe again, you're capped off financially and there's no growth anymore and you don't wanna feel stagnant and stuck any longer. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I feel like somebody needs to speak up as well because I'm having, not only did I sneeze earlier and uh, I've been having a little bit going on with my throat and I'm not sick, that's not my energy here, um, but I'm feeling somebody needs to speak up or you may be in a job that is leaving you feeling depleted or exhausted, especially when it comes to the throat on up. So again, the two of fire, challenge energy is uh, stay or go. It's about you've lost interest in a situation here. You want to step forward, but um, there's some sort of a lack of a planning here. There's a delay going on. Do you stay or go? should I go? That's the challenge. So let's clarify again this two of fire, two of wands energy. Spirit, can you please tell me a little bit more about the challenge for Sagittarius? We have the eight of swords showing up here. So the challenge for you is you're feeling trapped. You're stuck in this situation. Maybe again, you've been uh, applying for other jobs and you haven't heard anything. The Eight of Swords shows up and it says that uh, there is a little bit of fear. You're stuck in fear. There needs to be more clarity here. You wanna move towards freedom. You wanna get yourself unstuck in this situation. So that is the challenge for your thinking and for your physical senses here for the month of August. All right, let's take a look at the foundation. What is below my beautiful Sagittarians? The seven of wands, seven of fire energy here. So this, the challenge here, or excuse me, the foundation here is you needing to defend yourself, standing your ground, being at your personal best here, but it's non-conforming. You wanna live life on your terms, Sag. You wanna have the upper hand. You don't wanna feel like you're constantly defending yourself. You don't wanna feel like people are attacking you or maybe you're being misunderstood here. And the question here is, do I make amends? You know, do, do you make amends with what you have currently? Because there is uh, gratitude in that. You have grown and you've come a long way. Or do you move on to something that potentially could be life-changing and bigger and better for you with a seven of wands. So let's take a look here and clarify this energy, seven of fire. Spirit, can you please clarify the seven of fire? 
We have the star showing up here. The star showing up in reverse. So there was a lack of hope in a situation here. Uh, usually this is the dreams coming true, healing after a, a traumatic moment here. But I feel like for some of you, there was a lack of hope regarding a situation. Maybe you went for a promotion or maybe you tried to change jobs and maybe you've been trying to get a job for a while now and there's just some sort of loss in there or lack of hope in ever gaining what it is that you want to accomplish or gain. But that is very far from the truth here, Sag. You can climb to the top here and it may be seeing something from a whole new perspective that maybe you didn't see before. And I feel for a lot of you, and even for the collective energy, August is going to be a very sensitive, very intuitive month. So pay attention to what your gut is telling you during that time here. And I feel for many of you, if you've been in a situation that you've been feeling off or not satisfied, a lot of you are going to decide to make the leap into just doing something completely different. And for those of you that are looking for a job or even trying to build up your own business, I feel like... I do feel positive news because you're going to use that sensitivity and that intuition to plunge forward and make choices that maybe you never thought of before. You're going to actually tune into your intuition and the collective of taking that leap of faith. And it may seem rebellious to you, but it certainly is going to pay off is what I am getting here. So let's take a look at your recent past. We have the Ace of Cups, Ace of Water showing up here. So you try to, to open yourself up. Maybe you've been closed off for a while, but you wanted something new to come in here, a new opportunity that was emotionally satisfying. And I feel like you either tried that out, you tried a new mindset, maybe you tried to look for a job, but there was a new beginning that you wanted to take place in the recent past. Whether that new beginning took off or not, let's take a look and clarify the Ace of Cups. Spirit, can you please tell me about this Ace of Cups in Sagittarius' past? You may have even achieved some sort of completion or even received news regarding something. Let's take a look here. Three of Pentacles, yeah. You had to work together to achieve something in the past here that maybe opened you up for a new beginning. Three of Pentacles shows up and this is all about building a solid foundation. It's about dedicated collaboration or teamwork. For those of you that are an entrepreneurs yourself, this could be about you putting on a lot of different hats. Maybe even starting a side gig if you were working a regular job. In the past, you may have tried to step your foot into something that potentially could make you a lot of money here. This could be you uh, putting on different hats, you know, you being the accountant, you being the creator, you being the voice of the company or whatever that is for you. Maybe a lot of you started your own blog or vlog. Uh, maybe you started teaching people something. Maybe you started writing something out here. Uh, maybe you opened up a, a daycare or decided to watch some children for extra money here. But I'm getting the Three of Pentacles. is It's almost an idea that's on the side here. And the Ace of Water is doing something that you feel more emotionally connected to. <laughs> All right. I'm getting the name Sabrina. Sabrina. Take that as it resonates, Sag. Let's take a look at your potential. What's the potential coming in for August? What is the potential? The two of pentacles, two of earth. The potential here is to weigh up a, a major decision. There's a decision that needs to be made. Uh, trying to maintain some sort of a balance within this decision as well. For example, do I leave the job that I'm at, but how do I find that compensation within something else to leave that job? So again, the two of earth is showing up as the potential you have two opportunities coming in here, two choices that you'll be weighing up in the month of August. All right, and that, there it is. The, the choices that you are gonna make are gonna either leave you stuck or is gonna free you up. Very important message here for you, Sag. Whatever you decide to do in August, again, is gonna either bind you, golden handcuffs is sometimes what I call it, and golden handcuffs to me means you're stuck or trapped in a situation because they pay money and you can't find something that's either going to top that or feel more emotionally fulfilling. Um, so again, golden handcuffs or you have the opportunity coming in to free yourself. The choice is up to you. The potential here is to free yourself from a situation that you feel trapped in. So I am liking this. 
All right, let's take a look at the near future. What is going on in the near future for my beautiful Sagittarians? Ooh. The Hierophant, wow. You are gonna commit to your decision and you are gonna build it wholeheartedly. You're gonna either receive some sort of news, so I'll be curious if we get either the page or the night showing up here to clarify. But the Hierophant showing up is divine guidance. You're going to be divinely guided to move towards this, uh, this opportunity or this decision that is going to be in your highest good here. It's all about gaining the wisdom. It could even be some sort of spiritual study as well. But there's a deep commitment and a deep learning in this card. It's also the card of tradition. It certainly can be. But what I feel like is you're breaking away from uh, possible tradition here and you're going a different route because again, you're not conforming. You don't want to conform. We already see that here. You don't want to conform. You want to live life on your terms. So that could be uh, what's going on here is you're breaking away from something very traditional for you. But let's clarify. Oh, all right. Thank you. Okay. Six of swords. Yep. You are moving to calmer waters. And you know why? Because you want something that is, uh, it's almost like you're leaving the past behind. You're moving on. It's a rite of passage. It's a spiritual transition into something better. Uh, you've come out stronger from this situation. And that's kind of what I'm feeling. So maybe you've been committed to a place for a long time here. But again, I keep getting that same image of being capped off. The growth is no longer there. You need to start something. And I feel like a lot of you have started something already on the side. And it does have the potential to grow. But you're leaving the past in the past. And you're moving forward to calmer waters. The Six of Swords says... You're doing the healing and you're coming out stronger as a result of everything you've learned from the past here. You have what it takes to move forward. And you can see here that she's being guided. She's being guided and uh, she's being guided divinely, I feel like, into calmer waters because obviously birds can't carry a... Uh, carry a, a boat through the ocean so it's almost like you're being divinely guided with that hierophant to move into something that's better suited for you all right i'm also seeing somebody working on their vehicle and i know i've gotten this a few times i don't know if it was for you or not but somebody may have just had some sort of car issue or something with their car maybe uh Maybe you went in to see what a trade-in value would be for your car. It doesn't have to be that there's an issue with it, but it could be something either you're weighing up or thinking about getting a new one or you need an oil change. So just take it as it resonates here. Sag, all right. Let's take a look at what you are telling yourself during the month of August. What are you telling yourself? Ah, okay. All right, Queen of Earth, Queen of Pentacles, yeah. You're telling yourself that you want something stable and secure. You want to be very successful, very abundant, and you want to build up. This is somebody who's very practical and good with her money. Uh, she's very thrifty as well. She could be in an accountant or a financial advisor field, but it's also about focusing on your money. So a lot of you could be trying to save up for something as well. Uh, a lot of you may just need to maybe pay attention to your finances and that's what you're focusing on at this time. When the Queen of Earth comes in, she can also be quite flashy and maybe you're looking to upgrade or buy a new car or vice versa. So either very flashy or very thrifty is the energy I'm getting from this card. But let's clarify how you are being right now with your money or uh, the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Earth. Spirit, can you please? Oh my goodness. This is the third time now, I believe. The, the Or no, 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 they're telling me it's just the two. But you have the two of Earth coming up. That You have the two of Earth, two of Swords. You had another two, I believe, earlier. But the two of Swords is removing the blindfold here. It's a, a decision that needs to be made. You're at a crossroads here. And uh, are you at a crossroads over your finances as in, do I stay at something that maybe feels a little bit stable at this time or do I go towards something that I'm more passionate about? Or maybe if you're looking for a job, uh, do, 
do you go this direction or do you go this direction? The Two of Swords is you making a decision. And it may be a difficult one to make here because I feel like this is you being at a crossroads, you being between a rock and a hard place. So again, another card saying that a decision needs to be made. Oh yeah, they're telling me here's the other two. So uh, Two of Wands showing up, Two of Earth, now Two of Swords. So Twos, Sag, are all about choices. They're about reflection, diversity, partnership, duality. So twos are a very powerful uh, card because you have a lot of choices coming in here for you. And uh, with the let it go card, there's something that needs to be released as well in order for you to move on to your journey. So let's take a look at uh, your external influences. Woo! The ten of water showing up. The ten of... Uh, Ten of Cups, this is you feeling maybe, um, I'm getting two different energies from this. The Ten of Water is a very beautiful card in your energy here. So this is the card of emotional wealth. It's the card of good relationships, family, community. It's about being uh, good fortune. It's the card of good fortune here. It's almost, you know, rub a Buddha's belly. And uh, I'm getting that you're trying to manifest good fortune, okay? That's what you want at this time. You want something that's emotionally fulfilling, Sagittarius, but you also want something that's stable and that's going to bring money in for you. So I feel like your external influences, you have a choice, a major choice, and the decision is, do I want to go after something that I love? that maybe it's going to take a bit to happen or maybe you're wishing upon a star here or you need to kind of rub the Buddha's belly to make it happen and that's your own mind, your own belief system. You might have to build something up here or are you going to feel discontent? Uh, are you going to feel like there's a lack of with the Ten of Cups? So let's clarify this energy here. The Ten of Water is one of my favorite cards in the whole deck. It's a very beautiful card for your external influence to show up for you because it says that you are working towards and the relationship, or excuse me, the uh, decision that you make, you're going to make it based on some sort of emotional or some sort of uh, heart. All right. A decision from the heart. The page of Wands is showing up. And the page of Wands is a new energy. It's getting some sort of creative spark off the ground. Page of Wands is all about receiving some sort of a news. So I feel like you're going to receive some sort of news that's in the form of either email. It could be a text. But it's some sort of news that's very speedy. And it might be very quick. For example, if you decide to go in for a promotion you'll find out either on the spot if you go in for a job offer you might find out on the spot or within the next day here or if you're trying to get a business off the ground and you put out a new business idea you might find out that right then and there or that next day that it's not going to work or it is going to work one of the two here so in your external influences there's news coming in and this news is ultimately going to depend or depict here this ten of cups energy this uh, good fortune, this peace, serenity. So let's take a look at your hopes and your fears. What is Sagittarius's hopes and fears for the month of August? Ace of Air. You want there to be some communication here. There is a new understanding, some sort of barrier that needs to be cut through. The truth needs to come out in a situation. It's almost like a light bulb moment or an aha conversation. So the hope here is that you can be true and honest to yourself, Sag, that uh, other people can have conversations with you that are truthful, that are honest, and that there will be clear communication, that you will find out answers. That, again, because you have a decision to make, that you'll be honest with yourself is the hope that other people will give you positive communication. And the fear here is um, feeling like you have, you're clouded. The fear here is possibly being confused about which direction to go. So let's clarify this Ace of Air. Four of Swords. Four of Swords showing up in reverse. And the Four of Swords is all about overthinking, overworking, ignoring the signs of needing to rest. The hope here is that you'll be able to come out stronger from the situation, that you'll be able to have healed or to have 
moved on from something and renewed yourself rejuvenation after a, a hard time and the hope here is that you will have healed you will be able to move forward positively and confidently and the fear here is again um, overworking overthinking overthinking is the big thing here so Sag, if you can get out of your head, go for a run. I'm actually seeing somebody tying up running shoes, going for a run. Uh, get out there. Get moving. Uh, even if you're not a runner, just go for a walk. Ground yourself barefoot in nature. And uh, really try to get out of your head and into your heart because that's the only way you're going to be able to make this decision that is ultimately going to lead to this beautiful fortune and success. All right, let's take a look here at the final outcome. What's the final outcome? Whoa, holy moly. That just shot out and it is the best card in the entire deck. I love this card. The sun is all about abundance. It's about vitality, success, good health, and guess what? Truth, it's about truth. So you're gonna have an important conversation with yourself. You're gonna weigh up some decisions that's ultimately going to lead you to a lot of luck, a lot of success here. This is about public recognition and fame. For some of you, you may be doing a job that reaches a lot of people, especially if you are teaching others something. If you are on maybe YouTube yourself, maybe you're an actor that puts you in the spotlight, maybe you're a teacher that other people look up to you and you're in the spotlight, or even writing your own book, maybe you're an author. But a lot of people are looking up to you is what I'm seeing here, along with a lot of abundance and success. So let's take a look. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Behind the sun. Okay, so this is the outcome, right? But there is a little bit going on behind before you get to this. So this is the outcome as in this is what's going on and this is what's going to take place in August and your actions are going to lead to the sun. You might not see it right away is what I'm hearing here, Sag, because we have the king of, Air, king of earth, which is the king of pentacles, and we have a tower moment. So the king of earth is all about bossing up. He's an entrepreneur. He's worked hard to get to where he's at because he's put in that time, energy, and effort. He's fully committed to something. He's uh, very on top of his game. He builds empires here, Sad. He's an empire builder. And I feel like something needs to start or something's gonna come crashing down in a good way because what's gonna happen here is the whole, what I'm getting from this tower mo moment, is it's almost like this hierophant. Remember I said something committed, you're either committing yourself to something fully or you're leaving some sort of commitment that you've uh, taken for a long time. But you're gonna learn something new, a whole new way of thinking, a whole new way of living. For those of you that are thinking about starting or opening up your own business after you've worked for somebody for a long time, that's a huge shift in your energy and the way you think. If vice versa, let's say you uh, you try to build a business, but you're going back to work for somebody else or doing something, partnering up with somebody, uh, the way that you once thought how you should live or what it would be is definitely going to be different than you thought. But I am getting that this tower moment, something that comes in that shakes your world, it's going to offer you freedom. It's not only going to offer you financial freedom, success, and abundance, but you're going to feel good about yourself, Sag, and you're going to put yourself in the spotlight. The Sun card is absolutely beautiful to have here, but let's clarify, let's clarify this tower, okay? Let's take a look and see what this tower means coming up. I don't feel like the tower is going to happen necessarily in August, but I do feel like you're going to be highly sensitive. Your intuition is going to be on par. You may have some conversations with people that are ultimately going to lead to decisions being made in September uh, into October is what I'm getting here, but I feel like towards the end of the year, I feel like you're gonna to start to see the benefits going on from bossing up here or working for even another boss that's gonna lead you to this ultimate success. So let's take a look here. Spirit, can you please clarify the tower? Oh my goodness, yes! Boom, boom. Sag, this is super, super powerful. It's not often that the sun is clarified with the sun double whammy in your outcome position, in the upright position as well. So I'm not even going to clarify what that tower moment is for you because spirit is saying that regardless 
of what you think something should be. It's coming in whether you are prepared or not for it. And I'm really loving the energy and I think that you will too. So let's get a message from Spirit. Spirit, what do you have for my beautiful Sagittarians for the month of August? Ooh. All right, we have, a, we have a couple cards here. All right, we have hope and we have inspire passion. So I'm going to read the hope first. It says, your loved ones in, in the spirit world know when to reach out if they see you're at a low point, whether you're caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life. There is always hope. Okay. So yeah, if you're, if you're struggling with somebody at this time or you're struggling even with yourself or people that you work with, uh, there's hope in the situation. And what comes um, out of hope is this ultimate sun here. So I'm loving this for you. Next, we have Inspire Passion. It says, life devoid of passion can be a boring, uninspired blank canvas that slowly drains the soul. Now is the time to reignite your passions and rejoin life. This is an opportunity to set new goals, which will in, reconnect, in turn reconnect you with all that is sacred. That is the theme of this entire reading here is reconnecting, relighting that fire and uh, going all in on something that's ultimately going to leave you feeling a lot more happy. All right, we're going to get a message from the wisdom of the oracle here, Sag, and I will read the prosperity message from the guidebook because I feel like the guidebook has a lot of insightful information for you. So Spirit, can we please get a message for Sagittarius? for the month of August. Thank you. We have tick tock, tick tock. All right. The first word that I heard is divine timing. It's in divine timing, but I'm also getting that uh, you'll have a major, again, decision needing to kind of, uh, that you'll need to kind of work through during the month of August. All right, so the prosperity message for you, Sag, is this. Your prosperity is co-created by your endeavors as they occur in human-made time and the eternal efforts of your most important manifestation partner, spirit, in a divine, measureless time. So keep doing what you're doing. Stay positive and make a commitment to remain in high vibration thoughts and feelings. If you heed the message of this card, it will seem as if you will align with your highest calling and your highest good in no time at all, like magic. So what's all the fuss about not having enough time? The prosperous life that is yours will never pass you by. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. Especially, like I was saying earlier, Sag, if you feel like you've been doing something for a long time, August, August is really gonna be the month that gets that seed planted and that ball rolling. Uh, and you're going to feel like the divine timing is at work, at play in your life. And it most certainly is for you. All right. So for those of you that are new to my channel, there is an exercise that I love to do. This is the Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron reed It's a 68-card deck of every imaginable animal that you can think of. From animals that fly high in the sky, those that swim, maybe a little more domesticated, maybe wild, maybe mystical. So what I want you to do while I shuffle here, Sag, is I want you to close your eyes and I want you to think of the first animal or animals that show up in your mind's eye. So you may want to pause the video for a moment and just think of the first animal that shows up in your mind's eye while I shuffle. All right, and uh, so I'm gonna pull a couple of animals here for you. And Spirit, one more time, okay. Thank you. And what I would like you to do is, if you can, I'd love to hear what your animals are. Leave that in the comments below. And anything else that resonates, certainly leave that in the comments. But I'm gonna go over these animals with you. And remember, Sag, this is for the collective energy of Sagittarius. So these messages are for you guys, for you guys watching that are Sagittarians. 
uh, the animal that you're thinking of is specifically geared towards your energy. So they may match, they may not, but I would still love to hear in the comments again what your animal is or how maybe one of these resonates with you. So the first one we got is butterfly spirit. Transformation is beautiful. So yeah, like I've been saying here, there is going to be a major shift. Sensi you're going to be sensitive, very intuitive, but there's a decision that needs to be made that is going to lead to this beautiful transformation that even you don't know at this time here, Sag, how beautiful it's going to be with the sun card showing up here, double whammy in your outcome. So uh, trust in this magic here. Transformation is a beautiful process. We also have seahorse spirit. It does say watch and wait. And like I said, I feel like for many of you, there's going to be a decision that you will be weighing up in your head here. There is going to be a major conversation or some communication either with yourself or others. And you may not see the sun right in August. You may see the ripple effect of it, but ultimately I feel like it's towards the end of the year that you'll be feeling the full benefits of the sun energy. And it says watch and wait. So uh, go through this beautiful transformation process, Sag, and feel good about where you're at, where you've been, and give yourself a strong pat on the back because you've come a long way is what I'm hearing here. I'm also getting the name Roger. It could be Roger that. As in, maybe you say that sometimes, like, oh, Roger that. Uh, or your name is Roger. Please take it as it resonates. We also have turkey spirit. Turkey, give with gratitude and grace. So uh, one thing I like to point out when I get the turkey spirit is make sure, Sag, that you are counting your blessings and you're giving gratitude each day. So one form that can take or manifest is before you even get out of bed each day or before uh, you lay your head on the pillow at night, make sure you say to the universe three things that you are grateful for that day. What happened during that day that you feel very grateful for or blessed? It could be people, it could be things, it could be big, you know, things like air or water. Uh, so definitely practice gratitude because the more of that you practice, the more the universe hears and the more will be attracted to you. And then lastly, we have dear spirit, dear. It says bring a gentle touch. Bring a gentle touch. And what I'm getting from this is bring a gentle touch, not only to all the lives that you touch, Sag, but be gentle with yourself. For some reason, I'm getting the energy that a lot of you have been really hard on yourself. Let it go, okay? Let it go because you've been through a lot. You've learned a lot from uh, where you've been here. Maybe something's happened at work recently or in, in the past regarding finances. So don't be so hard on yourself here is what I'm getting. Be more gentle. Um, I'm also getting somebody may have uh, may have just seen a deer run across the road. That may be part of why the car was coming in. Maybe somebody hit a deer, um, but take that as it resonates. I certainly hope not. That would be very sad. Um, but bring the gentle touch. So those are your power animals that are helping you along your journey. So Sag, before we close down your reading, I'm going to get a pull a uh, guided stone to help you along your path. All right, so I'm just diving in here, diving in to the stone of, oh. All right, let me just tune in one moment. Okay, we have the stone called Rhodonite. This is an emotional balancer, okay? This is the stone for the heart chakra, Rhodonite, for those of you that are unfamiliar or not familiar with this stone, but it brings compassion. It brings a lot of compassion to the heart chakra. So um, what I'm getting is this deer spirit. It almost wants to go to that deer spirit, and it's bringing compassion to yourself here. Uh, Sag, bringing compassion. So those of you that do work with crystals, pay attention to rhodonite. Maybe you can even meditate on these beautiful colors as well. But it also heals panic. 
So if you tend to be prone to maybe panic attacks or anxiety, which I'm not a doctor, if you need to seek uh, medical help, please do. Um, but this will help stabilize any sort of panic or anxiety. So for those of you that have the stone, please utilize this in the month of August. And if you don't, feel free to maybe stop at one of your local crystal shops and to use the stone rhodonite to help you along your journey. So very beautiful. Again, they do want that energy to go with the deer spirit. Uh, be gentle with yourself is the message from this stone here. All right. So uh, Sagittarius, I hope this resonated with you. Like I said, I would love for you to leave a comment on how any of this resonated for you or what power animal that you did draw up in your mind's eye. I read all of your comments. It also helps me tune into your energy. If you are interested in signing up for that personal reading, you certainly can do so. And I look very forward to tuning in next time, Sag, sending you a lot of love, light, abundance, and wealth.